Welcome to Bruca Nano. My name is Roald Tagle and I'm the application scientist responsible for MicroXRF here in our facility. Today, I would like to show you a brief introduction of what is MicroXRF and what type of sample we can measure with MicroXRF. MicroXRF is a technique that combines the element sensitivity of the X-ray fluorescence with the spatial resolution given by a focus X-ray beam. It means that we can determine not just the composition of a sample, but just study a non-homogeneous sample. Most samples, as you see here on this table, are non-homogeneous. And we have different examples covering, like in this case, the geology, where you can measure with the focus X-ray the distribution of the different elements within the surface exposed to the measurement. We have the possibility to measure, like here, industrial samples where it's not only interesting to know the composition of the metal, but also what are the elements on the surface of the material. You have the possibility to determine, like in this drill course, what are the proportion of the different mineral phases within this drill core sample. And one interesting thing of the micro XRF is that you not just get information of the elements in the top layers of the sample, but also from the depth. Depending on the material, you can get to micrometers or millimeters inside of your sample. This allows a unique opportunity to study not just bulk materials, but also layer and coating thickness of different materials, like in this case, the gold coating on the surface. Another of the important things actually to point out for micro XF is the non-destructive approach for sample analysis, which means we can just place the sample as they are into the machine and get information about the element distribution without requiring any previous preparation. We can use, like in this case, a fossil fish and determine what are the elements uh, in the fossilized material without doing any additional preparation to the sample. Also, some of the sample is not possible to make any preparation and actually you want to have it as the measurement as they are at the moment. We can determine the composition of the ink in the parchment or in the paper. Therefore, it's a technique which is quite interesting for forensic applications where the integrity of the sample after the measurement process is very important. On the table, we have a variety of applications, but just a small part of the sample we have measured over the last years. And I hope I could give you just a brief introduction or an idea that everything could be a sample that can be measured with X-ray fluorescence, and especially with partial resolved X-ray fluorescence. And after the measurement, you have on one side the data with the composition information of the sample, on the other side you have the sample as it was before. 